Hey guys, Chris Dunn here, aka the Boogie Man, on this episode of Boogie Tech, the Boogie Holler. Uh, we're going to walk you around a few things we've already done, from a little bit of the steering to moving the turbo down. Uh, also, we're going to show you, after a, a lot of debate, I'm going to Z the frame. I didn't really want to do it, but the back's not going to go as low as I want it. So in this episode, you're going to watch us cut the frame apart, put the frame back together, and get the uh, the frame down lower to the ground like I'd like to. So stay tuned. Let's roll. Let's walk around the boogie hauler. Um, let's talk about steering right quick. Steering ain't been too big of a deal. Um, actually, I bought one of these cheap steering column mounts. Man, they're like 45 bucks. You can't really... You can't make nothing here as cheap as you can buy this, and it looks really good. Now, this is not the column going in here. This is the column for Mama Boogie. I've got another column that's black that goes in here because the old column was black. So I'm trying to just keep it looking more, you know, it's gonna be modern, but I want it to look old school. All right, as we walk around over here, I've got the steering pretty much lined up where I want and got my hole where I want it. And then what I done is made me a clamp. And what I like to do is I take a tubing here, if you can see this, um, that's got a two inch ID, which slides right over the column like so. And what I'll do is I'll slit it, if you see right here, about three quarters of the way through, weld me two little tabs on the top like this, and now it clamps. So basically this goes into here, like this hole here. I will weld this into the firewall all the way around. And then you just tighten up right here and it clamps your steering column. That's a good trick to, to hooking up the steering column. They make a lot of aftermarket clamps to go in the firewall. I'm kind of old school, I kind of like this. And plus when I plate all this in, it's nice and strong. Um, we're gonna go around and look at the turbo. All right, I hadn't started on my floor yet um, because I'm trying to get some other things done on it before I do. But what we done is the turbo used to be up here and I wanted it down below the floor to get the heat down below the floor. Plus the doghouse wouldn't be so big on the inside. So this is a exhaust manifold off of a 5924 valve. So like an 05 uh, 24 valve, 59 into the exhaust manifolds are interchangeable but it put the turbo pointing downward okay so basically what i done then is i machined a solid steel block this machined all the way through and it's a three inch spacer and that moved the turbo down even farther so now our turbo is really all up under our floor and down out of the way plus we're going to wrap it and put a blanket around it we got some stainless steel studs from master car that we're going to screw up in the intake and I mean the exhaust manifold, and that's going to hold all this down. So now all our air intakes down here and our exhaust pipe runs down here. And now we got the heat off the floor like we've been wanting it. So that's pretty much to that point where we're at. Um, now we're gonna go look at the back. I have been going around and around and around about whether or not I wanted to do this. But if you can see, Right now, I'm not, my bump stops are only like two and a half inches away from the rear end. I'm going to put bags on this and I wanna be able to let the truck down when we park, just because I wanna be able to get the bed closer to the ground. Well, if I don't Z it, then I've gotta do a bunch of notching and this and that, and I really don't like that. So right now, the back of the frame is about four inches higher than the front of the frame from being level. So what we're gonna do here in just a few minutes, we're gonna cut the frame right here, right there, and we're going to just pretty much level up the frame, level up the back, bring up and then drop the, the front, put them back together, tack them up, and then make some pieces to go in, and uh, then we'll plate it. We'll weld it up, you ain't supposed to do this, but we're gonna weld it, but then we'll make plates to go on the outside of it and the inside to bolt up. So that's the way you're really supposed to do these things. So stay tuned, uh, hold on, we're fixing to get into cutting it.
All right, guys, we've got it cut and we've got it dropped. What we done is basically, there's three inches here is what it took to get this level and this level. So now you can see, I've already V'd here and welded here. This is just, I did this just to kind of keep the frame together. I'll end up having to dress all of that off. I'm gonna weld the backside too. And basically I've got an old piece of frame that I'm fixing to get that's gonna go from here to here that I'm gonna cut the pieces out of and make this look nice and swooped up and, and swoop down. And then we'll make our plate for here and our plate for there. Uh, I'm gonna walk you through why we did a few things here. Um, number one, I used my angle finder to help me get this done. You know, I kind of zeroed the floor, then zeroed the frame and got both of these the same. Now, the reason you see the straight edge on there, I like two ways to check something. So I got the angle where I wanted it. I got the angle here where I wanted it, where it matched up. Then I put a big long straight edge out here and I measured down and measured down until they was the same. I double checked it over here also. So this thing's within a 32nd of an inch, which is for a drive chassis is, you can't get no perfect. I mean, that's almost perfect. So you can't get no better than that. So stay tuned. I'm gonna go get the frame and we're gonna start cutting out some pieces and start filling in the top here and start filling in the bottom. guys so now you get the gist of what we've done here we basically took the old pieces of frame we cut off the back the reason we use it has the same break radius so it's you know flows and looks the same we put a piece here we put a piece there um, I flattened it all down now there'll be a plate here and comes down and back and around that'll fish on the outside and bolt with half inch bolts and then I'm going to put another plate on the inside. I may actually just box the frame on the inside and then that's more than I'll ever need. So I'm, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started on the other side. Appreciate you guys. Stay tuned to next week. Next week we'll show you the plates and inside the boxing and some more stuff. Chris Dunn, AKA the Boogeyman.